and tell pals and zebra here to stay in the comic but decided to sit down since it was safer at all. And I got a quick word or two about how tough it is being a zebra what's a comic too. Well, sort of, kind of, bit, maybe. Tough like that crowd tonight. Man, were they on fire. Never saw so many firebrands in my life. Burning the place down for the third time this month. Gonna well, have to get a cut on the construction business this time. I can't keep the places around longer than it takes me to say zed, zaps, zits, and zed, and zots them. Gotta get me a new rider, too. This material is so old, it was chiseled on cables. Only reason it don't stink is it's petrified. Yeah, mixed it like a solid hit with the crowd. He stays long enough to let me get away with only some rotten tomatoes on the backside. Yep, that's my honey. Black and white and red all over. Good thing it's the front end what's got plastered all over town. They only know you when you're coming and not going, you know? Safety first, I always say. Of course, that's usually after Zero takes another whack at jumping off cliffs and screaming, Woo! No, can't say that word. Gotta keep a clean act and ran out of soap just last week, too. Not that I really miss it. Zebras don't need it much. Dirt comes along and you just get a few more stripes. Of course, some stripes ain't no good. Take Zelda, please. Girl's gone and gotten herself posted on every cum wrapper in every cheap discount store out there. Just cause she got herself some of that fancy body paint and went neon on her. Now what's a neon pink and green zebra good for, I ask you. The only place you can hide would be a watermelon patch what's gone disco. I played a disco ball, or a hall, or someplace where I had a disco ball. These toys it was shiny and was sort of round, kind of a bit maybe. Yeah, and that place came alive too. Never found out what those style of homies wanted with those chains till then. And boy, getting loose of that place would have done Harry Houdini proud. Played there in three months, or at least till the gold shortage kicked in. And some of my own kicking and botting got me named Metal Mouth. Or was that Motor Mouth? Could have been Mush Mouth or Mushroom Mouth. Nah, that's what Zelda had when she got that neon brain flash in her pan. Am I going too fast for you? Hope not, because it fixes folks up. Had one woman ask if I got any zip because of my speed. Told her, nope, there were three of us in the family. Zip, zilch, and zero. But the triple knots were automated and automated. So I'm a solo with a polo. And if you don't get what you see, you don't see what you get either. So don't worry, it's cool. Maybe get a new name for the act. I'd ask the audience for suggestions, but they already got names for it. And I ain't repeating those. These ways not where nobody can hear them. You know, it's bad when the audience has funnier jokes than you do. Some woman told me last night, you were acting the same than a centipede with 49 pairs of two tight shoes. Well, being a math whiz, I shot back with, you forgot his other two feet. To which she said, he's using those to hold his nose. Man, I've been insulted before. But never by no centipede. Talk about getting bugged. That one takes every place in the cakewalk. Of course, there was that one guy who insisted my initials, ZZ, meant I put the audience to sleep. I told him ain't no way they could be throwing all that stuff at me in their sleep. And he says, nah, that's their death spasms. Huh, I thought I was the one what was dying. I tried a career in showbiz. I even had a showbiz name cooked up. I was going to be Zip E Zebra and be a regular star. But some coyote beat me out in casting. Then spent the rest of his career hitting almost as many dead ends as me. When I got stuck with that cheesy gig in the lab testing biz. Don't take no amazing jobs, folks. The Z's ain't worth it. And if the career weren't tough enough, the zebra part is tougher. Being a horse in prison stripes and all, the old light meat, dark meat, light meat, dark meat jokes, they're stale enough to make eye like egg sound fresh. In the haircuts, mohawks are so 80s. And having your best publicity shot be your baby picture in the National Geographic just means it's all downhill. Till you wind up moonlighting for Joe Cannell, then you ain't never getting over the hump. So till next time, remember your hiney don't get pelted when your seat's on your seat. And happy Z's, y'all.